Hi, this is your instructor Chris for creating mobile apps with HTML5. And in this video, I want to show you how to get an API key from the New York Times and then use that API key to retrieve some data and then display that data in a web page. So this is the developer.nytimes.com website. And you can go here and the first thing you want to do is go to the get NYT API key button. And there's a form here where you just fill this out and you can fill it out with your own name, your email address, a website address, and then to verify that you're not a robot and select one of the API keys. The thing that's most important here is the email address. You need to put it in an email address that you actually have access to. The website you can use just www.example.com or something else just for testing purposes. I already have a New York Times API key, so I'm going to skip this step, but once you have that, it'll just be a long string of numbers and letters, and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. But once you have your API key, you can go down to the appropriate API. So if you selected article search in the API key form, you'll want to go to the article search API key console here. And then you go to the console and you can click on try it out. And here you'll see your credentials, and this is where you can paste in your API key. I'm going to copy mine from the other window and just overwrite all of this with my API key. And then you'll see results over here on the side. And you can put in some parameters. For example, you could say Sacramento. And then I'll update with stories that are just about Sacramento. And this is the JSON format. Above the parameters here, there's some sample code, and this is in JavaScript using jQuery specifically. So to use this, you can just copy this and then paste it into a script tag inside of a standard HTML document. And let's paste this right here. And this is just my basic HTML template but with one exception is that I've added a link to jQuery here. And you can get a link to jQuery to put into a script tag just from the jQuery.com website. So you can go to jQuery.com and you can click on download. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the using jQuery with CDN. A CDN is a content delivery network. And you can just find one here. You could grab the Google CDN link. And then you just copy this and paste it into your document. Right there. It's very important to note that the jQuery include should come before your jQuery code here so that your code can use this. And then you can save and go back to your browser. And then you just open up the file. And you won't see anything happening here. You, what you'll need to do is to open up the developer console. And then you'll see in the console window, you'll see an object. If you expand that, then you'll see all the data here written out. And Chrome will put this in a nice format for you, but you can uh, see that this is just standard JSON data, and you can use this inside of your scripts. And the way you do this is by navigating to the data you want to use inside of your developer console here. And then you can find the specific thing. For example, here, this is the main headline for the first story, and you can right click on it and then copy the property path. And then if you go back to uh, your script here, we can add a line here. We'll just start out with just saying alert. And then since we've stored all of our data in result here, we can just say result, and then we'll paste in what we copied from Chrome. So result.response.docs, zero, headline main. And then we go back, we just have to save that. Save this and then go back to our browser and refresh. 
we have a typo. I actually we should put this probably in here. And then it popped up the alert with the word Sacramento. And then once you have that, you can start to use different parts of your JSON inside the body of your document. For example, I'll do an H1 with an ID equal to headline. And then inside of my document here, instead of using an Instead of using an alert, I'll just say document dot get element by ID headline dot inner HTML equals response docs zero headline main. So this is going to set the inner HTML, which is whatever comes between the starting H1 and the finishing H1 to the value that's a response docs headline main. So let's save it and try it out. Refresh. And then we have another error. It says response is not defined. It actually needs to be result that response. Refresh and there it is. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.